Hi, Grandma Mary here, and I'm here today to talk about LinkedIn, specifically on these hot company pages. Now, you may have been asking yourself, I don't know, should I create a company page? Why should I create a company page? I just, it's a lot of work. I understand people, you've got things to do. But the great thing about company pages is it doesn't take too much time to set up and maintain. So, and I'm going to talk about some of the handy things that can happen with a company page and why you want to do it. So, let's dive in here. Where do we go first? We're in the LinkedIn, uh, LinkedIn area here. All you have to do is go to linkedin.com forward slash companies, or you can just click on this companies page. Just click right there and boom, you're in the companies area. And all you have to do now is click add a company in this upper left, upper right, my left, your right, I don't know. <laughs> Who's looking at the screen? Um, you just add a company here and you're going to have to have a true company email address. Now, you're not going to want to you're not going to want to create this company page for someone else because you've got to have an address at the company and you're going to be claiming that that address. So, you don't want to claim some client's address. So, you're going to have to uh, if you're doing this for a client, you're going to have to have them get it started and then you come in as an admin to to spruce it up a little bit because it's going to need a little bit of sprucing. So here's how you do it. You just put it in there, and um, I'm not going to follow these whole pieces, but it's just pretty step-by-step -step there. You put in the company name, and then you'll create it. You'll get, you'll get a little uh, message that it's there, and then you'll have something like this. Now here's an example of Andrea Vall, Inc., Andrea Vall's company page, and um, what we've done here is just put in the the about section and you can edit all of this stuff so when you first get started you're going to be able to like put in some some details but when you click edit you can update and manage this stuff and you can go to the add the image you can have a little logo here you put in your company description put in your specialties and the reason you want to create this, I mean, you can just, uh, you know, kind of take this from some of your other profiles for sure. But the reason you want to create this is that LinkedIn has lots of Google love, lots of Google juice there. It's another way to point a link back to your company website. And it's a way to get found because people are Googling around. Uh, they might be on LinkedIn looking around, looking for specialties and your company comes up. So it's about extending that footprint so you're a Bigfoot on the internet. That's what you want to be. You want to be a Bigfoot. So just, um, you know, spruce this up, add some of your specialties, add more specialties, you know, think about what you, what people are searching for. Use those fantastic keywords. And the image here, you know, this isn't ideal. Yes, I know it's a little bit of a, a little bit of a, uh, not ideal situation because this is cut off, but you do want to see if you can get this sick look they cut me out of that. What is up with that? I got cut out. I understand it's AndreaVall.inc. I'm just a side player. So you you know you're gonna have to make some adjustments to this and um, or make your own special logo there. Uh, 646 by, uh, let's see, what's that, 220, 646 by 220 pixels there. So we're going to work on that. I might get back into the picture there. I have to lobby. So fill out the type, the company type, when you started. Now here's what I love. Another thing I love about LinkedIn uh, company pages is that you want to make sure you add some products and services here. Because the fantastic thing about the products and services is that they can get reviewed. And then that offers some social proof, offers some, some good feedback, gives people gives another way for people to, to uh, 
give you a little testimony or your product a little testimony and think outside the box here on these products. I'm going to show you a couple of, of examples. And again, like, you know, when you're, when you're editing this, you can, um, you know, you can get, you just follow along here on getting started and, you know, choosing a category, add the image. You can also add a really nice uh, YouTube video if you have a YouTube video for your product and um, make it a rich little area for someone to check out your products. But let me show you a couple of examples that I really love on, on uh, company pages. Here's an example, Social Media Examiner. Now, if we go to their products area, they've, uh, we've thought outside the box here a little bit. One of the products is the Social Media Marketing World, the event that's coming up in April, which is going to be fantastic. I'm going to be there, by the way. Um, so, you know, think about that, adding a product. And they, this product got seven recommendations. You may want to reach out to your customers and people of influence to recommend these types of products so it gets seeds the recommendations a little bit. Uh, the networking clubs with Social Media Examiner. So an on, online area for networking is listed in the products area. Podcast, um, and then just the blog itself is a, is a product. I want to highlight another one that I really like here from HubSpot. Now, they've got a very nice looking company page here. They've got the updates going. Uh, and here's their products. Now, this is, this is something I love is that they've got, you know, their software, of course, but then they also have some of their free ebooks as a product. Lead generation, people. Fantastic idea on how to get more leads by putting in a, an opt-in, right, as a product and offering something for free. It's got recommendations. Um, here's, here's the one I wrote right there. A Andrea wrote this, actually. I helped. <laughs> so, you know, that's in there as a, as a product. So love it. They're marketing grader. So think outside the box on the products. Uh, the other thing I want to showcase here is that you're going to want to do some updates from time to time. So, you know, when you're on here on your company page, you can share an update. Now, all, all of the followers who are following your company will now get that update in their LinkedIn feed. Now, here's something that's interesting to me. I, we just created this page like very shortly ago and haven't even promoted it. If we've got five followers, people find you. You know, here's the thing. People find you. And so you want to, you know, have the chance for people to follow you on LinkedIn in a different way. Follow your company and get some updates. Now, the other thing that is that I wanted to show you, because I'm all about saving time here. You know, you it takes probably half hour to an hour to create your company page, add the products. So it doesn't take a lot of time to get this spruced up. Now, what you want to do, though, is continually update occasionally. You know, send an update to your company page. Again, you know, I understand you're busy. If you're using Hootsuite, here's the fabulous thing, is you can add your company, LinkedIn company profile, to Hootsuite very easily. You just go to this top section here and then say add a social network, go to LinkedIn, connect with LinkedIn. Now you have to continue. And now boom, you can choose where what kind of things you want, where you want to have your updates go to. I'm going to send it to andreavall.inc. I'm going to add it right there. You can also add your groups if you want to add, you know, kind of postings to certain groups you're a member of. So again, that's another reason I love Hootsuite. So you just check check your company page. And boom, now you've got it in your upper area here where you can check it to, to click on it to update. So there you go. Easy peasy. So I highly recommend you go out, create your company page, get it connected to, to Hootsuite to make those updating tasks easier, and uh, start feeling the link love. That's what I love about LinkedIn. All right. Hope that helps and talk to you next time.